Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Edgewater Hors d'oeuvres and Sandwich Book of 1930, we're going to be making the shrimp sandwich number three. And much like the third movie in a film franchise, they seem to have run out of creative ideas. And uh, no, don't adjust your phone. My shirt really is this bright. First thing we got to do, toast some bread. Okay, next we butter our toast. Both pieces, thank you. Next we put shrimp that have been cooked and halved lengthwise onto the toast. Top that with mayonnaise, doesn't say how much, and another piece of toast. And yeah, I use the butts. Okay, let's give this shrimp sandwich number three a go. That is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie to you. Toast, butter, mayonnaise, shrimp, works. Just feels like it's missing something. And when I first started thinking about plus ups, I'm like, ah, we'll add some Old Bay. Well, we've kind of done that. We'll add Cajun seasoning, kind of done that too. Uh, add some tarragon from the garden. Yeah, but tarragon's kind of subtle, it takes a while to kind of infuse itself into the mayonnaise. And then I thought, wait a sec, we can use a technique that we've seen done with these recipe books, but with an ingredient they have not used. I'm gonna add tomatoes that have been steeped in chimichurri. I think that flavor combination is gonna go really well with the shrimp. And for good measure, some butter lettuce. Okay, let's give this plussed up shrimp sandwich number three a go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is delicious. Chimichurri, of course, has Red wine vinegar, garlic, parsley. Very bright, very delicious. Can't just add it to the mayonnaise because it would make it runny. But by soaking the tomatoes in it, you still get it into the sandwich. You get the sweetness and freshness of the tomatoes and the butter lettuce. This is excellent. And you can tell I kind of thought this was going to work because I made a full sandwich. <laughs> All right. The original shrimp sandwich number three. Tasty, uh, not complex, but tasty. I'm giving that a seven and a half. That was... Really good. With the chimichurri soaked tomatoes and the butter lettuce, I'm knocking that up to a 10. That is just a home run. That is a delicious, delicious sandwich. Highly encourage you to make this. For the chimichurri, I got it from a blog that I will link to down in the description so that you can make it and make this sandwich too. All right, see you next time. Welcome to... Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nailed it!